what exactly is probate? We hear the word, we hear it on TV, people talk about avoiding probate. Well, today I'm going to explain in lay terms what exactly is probate and why you need to go through it. I'll be right back. Hi, my name is Karen O'Brien, and I am a real estate broker with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services Commonwealth. I work in the immediate Boston area, all the suburban areas right, out, right outside of Boston. And welcome to my YouTube channel. It's called Boston and the Burbs. And if you're a subscriber, thank you. Welcome back. And if you're not, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about probate in the state of Massachusetts and I am going to use the most lay terms that I can possibly use. Either you or someone you know has been appointed the administrator of an estate or someone close to you passed away and you're involved in the estate. So either you have a will or you do not have a will. The people who do not have a will the state, the estate gets probated by the state and they figure out how to divide the assets of the person without the will. It does not automatically go to the state like you see on TV. So we're not going to talk about that today. We're going to talk about someone who passes away with a will in the state of Massachusetts and what happens next. First of all, probate is the legal term for the state overseeing the um, administrator spreading out the estate or making sure everything gets done legally. Three main things is making sure the wishes get carried out, making sure taxes are being paid, making sure everything is done legally. So say a family member passes away and you know they have a will and you know you're probably the administrator. <clears throat> the first thing is you need a copy of the will, which you probably have one. You can read the will, you can't do anything. You can't start administrating things from the will. The first thing you have to do is I recommend Hiring a lawyer, telling them that this will needs to be probated, telling them your situation. This attorney will bring the will, fill out a form, go to the courts and file it. Once that's reviewed, if the estate isn't too complex, the administrator named in the will will be listed, or if there's two or three of them on a piece of paper, it's actually two pages, and it will say you have the right to administer the, the will, the estate. It will say you have the right to um, sell real estate or you don't have the right to sell real estate. By talking to your attorney first and going through the will, the will will, will state if you do have these rights. And if that's the case, then once you have that piece of paper in hand, you can start doing legal things. As it pertains to real estate, if for whatever reason you're in a real hurry and you don't want that house to sit for too long, you can ask the attorney to do a separate appointment, which is temporary. It's usually a couple months and it'll be valid for you to start proceedings on putting the house on the market, preparing it, getting it on the market. Gives you permission to be the signator for the estate and that can be separate and temporary before the full appointment comes through and that's good to know because often that subject isn't even brought up so say the house is in great shape you want to get it on the market in 30 days you can start emptying it out getting it prepped and hire a real estate agent that understands what probate is um, they cannot have you sign a listing agreement unless you have that appointment so even if it's the temporary one just for real estate once that happens you can proceed with the sale of the house those funds go back into the estate at the point where everything is divided and you're wrapping up the estate those proceeds can start to be divided among the beneficiaries while you're waiting to be a point appointed 
You can start doing things like send out notices, contact everyone that stands to benefit from the proceeds of the estate, housekeeping things that you need to do that will eat up those four to six weeks before you actually get the appointment. One of them is taking inventory, a very clear list of all the bank accounts, all the um, retirement accounts. You're gonna need um, death certificates to stop things like health insurance and subscriptions, um, cancel cable, all those little things. You need a big list and you can start working on those. The whole process seems like it's slow and takes a while, but if you are really efficient, it'll be under a year, it'll be nine months or so to be able to liquidate everything. Little things, well, big things, like if a minor stands to inherit money, um, a trust has to be set up because a minor cannot inherit directly and a trustee has to be appointed to manage the money for the um, beneficiary minor until they're 18 years old or until the age that it states in the will. Sometimes if it's a lot of money, the will will state that they cannot have access to it until they're 30 years old. Oh, well, this is Mushroom. She needs attention. <laughs> now, when everything wraps up, everyone's been paid, the executor's been paid if they, usually they don't. And usually the courts, if it's under a million dollars, they don't have to be bonded. So once everything is wrapped up, then there needs to be paperwork filed to petition the court to close out the estate. My last note is um, probate is a public record. So everything will be filed and anyone can go in and go through the records to make sure everything was done properly. Just so you know, siblings, cousins, you know how that works. Anyway, I hope this helped a little bit. It's broad, it's in lay terms. As long as you understand the general timeline of how things happen, it will help you a lot. It'll make you less stressed during a, a time of a lot of stress. So if you thought this content was good, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you wanna hear more. I have a couple more videos on how to empty a house quickly and how to deal with inheriting a house with siblings. So have a terrific day and thank you so much for watching my channel.